I'll show you how to solve the Rubik's Cube. But first, we have some stuff to learn. The notation. R is right. This part. L is left. This part. U is up. This one. D is down over here. Down here. F, this is front. This is the side that's facing you. And then back. This one. This side. Over there. And M is here between R and L, E, which means this is here, between U and D, and then S, which is between F and B. X is to rotate like this downwards y is to rotate the cube like this and z is to rotate the cube like this now let's scramble this cube first let's have some algorithms to learn for how i can is Wait, there's some symbols. A prime or apostrophe that means an anti clockwise turn like this. Some say our apostrophe, but it's actually our prime. And then two means two turns like this. You two. And then now, let's scramble the cube. Now we scramble our cube, and then it looks scrambled. Now, let's have the first step, the daisy. Let's find some white edges. Here, this one. This one's edge. Not corner pieces or center pieces. Center pieces don't move, but they can rotate. There's some, there's one here, one here, one here, it's all on top, and one here. So let's move them. Here, one in the middle layer, so move it to the top. Now we have two cross pieces in this here, and we have one here. We kick the other piece out, which is here. And then. This one, this is white orange, so let's put white orange up here. And this is in the bottom layer, so make sure this is a 180 degree turn. And then sometimes you can see the last edge somewhere, but uh, maybe it's somewhere here. And then move it up. There we go. The daisy done. The daisy is like this: a yellow centerpiece, and then the the white cross pieces on it. Here we go. We're gonna go to the second step. At the last video, it the last step is the daisy. Now we'll work for the white cross. Across is like this. Let's start with white. On any color you want, like red, blue, orange, green, yellow, or white. But I'll choose a. I'll choose this. The first color we're we'll gonna form is white. So let's check every one. Let's see if this uh, cross piece aligns with this. This is white blue, so it matches with this green centerpiece. No. So let's turn the top around until it forms this. This one. And then rotate this wire 180 degrees. And there we go. It brings it to the bottom. 
Here's our first cross piece on the bottom. Now we have another set. Another set. Here we go. This is also matching, so let's put it in the bottom. Now we have another set, which is this. We move the top around until we see the this one, and then rotate the layer 180 degrees or F2. Now for the final cross piece, which is up here. So let's turn the top around and oof, it matches. And there we go. The white right cross is solved. Now the third step is to uh, to match to uh, make the whole side white. So the bottom corners, we forget the left hand algorithm. The right hand, the right we'll use the right hand and the left hand algorithm. This is remember that is R U R prime Q prime. Let's make this. Here we go. Now for the left hand algorithm, we forgot it in the first step in the daisy. This is like this L prime U prime L U. Practice these algorithms so uh, you'll, you'll get them in your hands until you do this automatically. Now let's focus at the first. Uh, let's see if it is uh, the top layer. Oh, we have one here. We just match it over there. So let's turn this corner. Where it should go. This is. This is red and green corner piece, and it belongs this side and this side. So let's repeat the right hand algorithm. I mean, let's do the right hand algorithm. There we go. The corner is off. It took one time here. And then for the for this corner, oof. There's a, a solved edge. If a, there's a solved edge, as you're solving a corner and the, the edge is solved, so you need to save this edge. And you want to save, you want, you want solve it later. So, so if you had that case like that, so you like turn it away like this, and then. Perform the right hand algorithm and then insert the corner. And that saves that edge. And if white is uh, phrasing in front of you, just just do the same but uh, but the opposite of that. It's like this. Take the corner away. And then look for the left hand over them and then it's at the corner. That soft edge. And what if white is facing up? So like this uh, there's a solve edge that is blue red. So just don't uh, don't do that. Just, just repeat the right hand algorithm like three times. Just repeat the right hand algorithm three times. One, two, three. And that saves the edge. Now let's keep looking for corner pieces such as this. Just save the edge. Oof. There's one edge that is one corner that is twisted in the wrong place, so just if a white is phrasing fraud, so do the 
left hand algorithm twice and then the if it right is pressing here at the side so do the right hand algorithm twice and that brings to the third step the fourth step is the middle layer which is this layer so let's solve this one this is red and green so th this batch is red and green so you need to put this edge up here to this slot so um, you and then take the edge away and then and then perform the right hand algorithm and then and then a y y move and then the left hand over this is uh, when the this is a case is when the when the when the edge goes to the wall to the right side now if the if it, if the edge is going here to the left, so do a U prime and then left hand over them, then Y prime and then right hand over. Here we go. You have some cases. Uh, you pass. The first case is you have a flip edge here, so. We don't know any algorithms to solve this edge or disassemble the cube. Don't disassemble this and then do this algorithm. R U2 R prime U R U2 R prime. And then and then insert that corner. And then it solves it edge. Now heading to step five, we need to make the yellow cross. So, well, there's no edges done. So there, as there's a dot over there. So perform this algorithm. F, and then the right hand algorithm, and then F line. There you go. And then the second case is a there's a nine o'clock here. It looks like nine o'clock in a watch or nine o'clock. It's like this. It's not in a backward cell. Many call this backward cell, so I'll call it nine o'clock. <coughs> if you have a nine o'clock, so do the reverse of that. So it's like this. F and then U or U prime or prime and then F prime. This solves the yellow cross and now the third case is you have the horizontal line so do that so do not hold it vertical or you'll mess up this line over there. So hold it horizontal like this and then do the same algorithm as before. And now it solves this, this yellow cross. We head to step six. So this is the we need to match all of these. 
edges, uh, we need to arrange the edges of the circle across. Uh, we need to find two matching. We need to turn the top. Here, this one. There are two matching, so uh, just do uh, this algorithm and we'll and these edges will gonna be on the right and back so to hide it and then do the album R U R prime U R U2 R prime and then U this is an extra move now you can see the all the edges done and if you have uh, two opposite uh, edges from each other just just do this algorithm anywhere I'll choose here and then do that algorithm and then you prime move and all the edges solved. Head on to step seven. We need to match all the corners. We need to move the corners in place. So hold one in here. Hold and find a corner that is placed now, like this. This is solved, but it looks not solved yet. So we need to do this algorithm U or U prime, L prime, U or U prime, L prime. With this, sometimes you might accidentally, accidentally uh, make this cube solved. Like this, you might accidentally solve that cube right away. Now, let's see if, uh, and then, this is, a uh, check, this one, uh, if uh, this uh, matches this one, this has blue on it, so it matches blue. So let's put it in the left hand instead. And then do the left ver hand version of this. Like this. U prime, L prime, U, or U prime. U prime, U, U, R prime. And then all the corners are soft. Now we head to the final step. So we need to solve the whole cube, so we need to turn the cube upside down like this, uh, and do any unsolved corner here, and then repeat the right hand algorithm two times like this. If it uh, yells on the side, here we go. Yell is on the bottom. Now we need to turn the bottom over. We need to turn the bottom over instead of rotating the whole cube. This might mess up your cube. So, move the bottom or a D move instead. Some cubers say that. So, we need to solve this. Yells on the side. Left hand open. And then, now let's move to the next corner. If a Yellow's on front, so uh, do the reverse of that, which is this U or U prime, uh, R prime. And then repeat this twice to get in here. Oh, this one, so. And then. There we go. And then. Another D move, so uh, all the colors match and. The cube is solved. This is the first. This is now your first time solving the Rubik's cube. If you don't know, and then and practice this a lot all the time, and then you'll get faster in it. And sometimes you may get your cubers too. So goodbye.